all right what's up guys today we're just going to be doing another i guess vlog for gym progress again it's going to be deadlifts because that's what i'm struggling the most on so let's go ahead and take a look at what i'm currently trying so this session basically i was lifting with a homie of mine from stanford he's down in socal now he's a doctor anesthesiologist and basically powerlifting is like a crazy hobby of his but it's also like his first or second year of actually like powerlifting. So we're basically from time to time, we'll get together and kind of figure out how we can improve in terms of like technique. So I know he pulls like five something for sumo. So super crazy, but with conventional, for some reason, none of us can, or neither of us can figure it out. Wait, what? Yeah. Like if you're grabbing it and you're like twisting it like this, yeah. What you're doing is when you're twisting, you're actually activating your lats. Oh. First thing was going over activating our lats. I just suck at activating my lats. Like my back is probably the weakest part of like my entire body. Um, for some reason, my body just doesn't engage them. So that's the first thing that we're. Cause you're pulling. Yeah. Cause like. Right? That's whack, dude. I know, but it's like, and then you should stand a little further away, but then like, so it's like. Like right here, my homie kind of showcases what to do in terms of like what he learned from one of his coaches. Some more cues in terms of trying to engage the feet, legs, and like really trying to dig in with your heels. One of the biggest issues for me with deadlifting is I'm really quad dominant and I've never really gotten sore in my hamstrings other than when I target them specifically with like hamstring curls. So a lot of people have mentioned that it's, it includes the hamstrings very intensively. So trying to figure that out. And one way to engage that is to kind of visualize it as engaging it with your heels. So instead of trying to do like a jump where it's mostly quad dominant and you're on your tippy toes, which for some reason, instinctually, that's what I do when I deadlift is I push down on my toes. But now I'm trying to really balance it out with more of and like a mid. Like, when you're starting to use your I guess I'm trying to balance between the toes and the heels. So there's there's just so many damn cues to like pay attention to. So first one was what? To retract the shoulders and just kind of like brace the entire um, upper body into a very solid, I guess, plank kind of stance. So you gotta like retract your shit. And here for me, it's just super, I don't know why, it's just there's so many different things to really consider. And I just get hella confused and my body just kind of goes brute force where I'm just pulling. But it looks decent here. I think another tip that I had or was recommended was to um, not really, sit down into the deadlift, but more so like sit back into it. And that should give me a better pull and like a better leverage in terms of engaging like the whole lower drive train rather than just my lower back. You feel it more? Cause like I feel it in my heels. Yeah. Like and then are you also gripping the ground though? No. Nah. Like, right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> it's, there's too much. All right, so here we have me pulling a little bit over I think 180 or maybe two plates whatever the case it's a little bit heavier and with heavier weights i kind of disregard my form and essentially that's where basically all sensibility breaks down where i just stop thinking about my technique and more so on let's fucking lift this weight obviously that's not the smartest thing to do that leads more uh, more leeway to injury and with this Kind of slowed it back down where i'm just kind of resetting at the top of every set so i'm really really trying to instill that form down into my like everyday workout it's not gonna lie it's freaking difficult dude um just trying to figure it out playing with our stance trying to like really set up a pattern so that i don't really have to think about it every time i deadlift so hopefully overall within the next like couple months, I'm able to solidify that and it becomes second nature. 
but essentially spent the whole workout just trying to really figure out what is most beneficial for like my body type um dude my back was fried at the end of this so i guess overall still a work in progress um after the main deadlifts we just went into doing accessories mainly romanians and pause deadlifts and then from there my back was pretty much fried so called it quits <coughs> all right there you guys have it basically deadlifts work in progress and spend the next couple months trying to really hone in on the technique and have that like basically second nature so every time i do deadlift don't really have to think about all these little things because for me the more i have to think about it the more i stress and that isn't really ideal i remember like way back when when i did swimming um technique became like second nature and literally all i really focused on was like the power i want to get to that point for deadlifts where i can just kind of set myself up and then basically use like all the training and all the conditioning and all whatever to really just pull on the weights and hopefully increase my numbers by the end of the year because i do want to compete at some point but again my hips strained it last year and for whatever reason the recovery has been very slow taking very easy progressing very slowly a lot of patience on my end getting frustrated but it is what it is and i'm gonna catch up to james at some point all right next time i'm probably gonna make like a little food or like meal prep video to show you guys like what i usually do for food in general if i have filmed like everything i ate it's pretty bad because i just eat out a lot too but in terms of like when actually i do need to cut had my dexa scan this past weekend with james oh my god results are horrendous so definitely gonna meal prep show you guys what i usually do by no means am i a nutritionist so take it with many grains of salt but it has worked for me and i think that's it got some other stuff coming up a whole box of sheer revival came in jack henry mac for men trying to work on other stuff so keep posted Peace.